y'all. I am cooking supper and it's gonna be quick and easy tonight. And we love hot dogs and we love sloppy joes. So this is something that I create called sloppy dogs. And I will share some pictures at the end of the process of how I got my chili made. I used um, three onion rub, garlic seasoning, a little bit of chili powder, ketchup, apple cider vinegar. But I'll share all that with you. I started on the stove top and seared my beef and then um, I moved it to the slow cooker stand and let it just cook low and slow for just only an hour because it was really done when I had it on my burner. So what I'm gonna do now, the air fryer just cut off. I like to have this chili made ahead and in the freezer and I was out. So if you follow me often, you know I love these little one and a half cup freezer bowls. So I'm going to be putting some chili in these freezer bowls and it's just the perfect size who else buys a big can of chili? And then you only use just a little bit of it. And I don't even like the flavor of most of those cans of chili. So I'm going to make a big batch and have chili in the freezer for us for our hamburgers and hot dogs when we're ready. <clears throat> so let me, I've got some cheese shredded. I've got my hot dogs boiled. I'm gonna get my buns out of the air fryer and then I'll show you, I hope y'all can see everything, what I'm going to do. So let me get the um, hot dog buns. So I put a little bit of butter on the top of these two buns and some, went ahead and put some cheese in the bottom, kind of like um, a chili cheese dog, if you will. So I'm going to put those right there. And y'all remind me that that's hot, so I won't touch it. I'll put this right here so it will remind me that it's hot. One of my followers told me that I should put a rag close to my hot pan so I'll remember that it's hot. But um, once you touch it a few times, you gotta learn that lesson. So what I'm gonna do now that I've got these just a little bit toasted, I'm going to go ahead and put one of our hot dogs in. And y'all, whoo, that's hot too. I'm from North Carolina. <laughs> and these are made here in North Carolina because everybody always says, I've never seen a red hot dog. But I don't like the brown hot dogs. I've only always grown up eating these. They're called bright leaf hot dogs. If you're from North Carolina, give me a shout out because you know how delicious these hot dogs are. And I'm about to touch that hot pan again. Okay, so now I'm going to remove this lid off my chili. I'm going to take a little bit of this chili and put on the dogs. I use kind of like... um. That's hot, y'all. Kind of like a sloppy joe recipe that I've always made my homemade sloppy joes because it's just so, so good. But then I added a little bit of chili powder to it also. So it's just got a delicious flavor. And I don't know, my grandchildren, I don't know about your family, your husband, your grown children and grandchildren, they all love sloppy joes and they all love hot dogs. So I've got that done. And then I'm going to put some more cheese on top. Now what I'm gonna do this time, I wish the air fryer had a broil feature, but I like my cheese toasty. So I'm gonna put this in the oven under the broiler for just a few minutes to get this cheese all nice and toasty. Y'all don't they look delicious? And then you can top them if you want to have any other toppings, just like you would your regular hot dogs with um, pickle relish or onions mustard and ketchup, but I do have the ketchup in my chili sauce. So I might not come back on, but if I don't, I will take pictures of what these look like. I've got the broiler on, so I'm gonna pop them in the oven and then I'll be getting the rest of my chili in my little freezer bowls. And y'all, these right now, I don't know how long they'll stay in the outlet, but right now they're in the outlet on sale. And I promise you, you'll never regret having these little things. So y'all stay tuned at the end and you'll see the step-by-step -step process of my chili as well as what these look like when they're done. Thanks, y'all have a great night, bye-bye. Okay, y'all, my sloppy dogs are done and pictures just don't do them justice. So I decided to come back on and show you what they look like. You don't have to put yours under the broiler if you don't want to, that's just a preference for me. I like my buns toasty 
and they're gonna be so, so delicious. And you see why I call them sloppy dogs? I don't know that I could pick this up and bite it. I usually take a fork and a knife and eat it, uh, but they smell amazing. So I did start with my chili. I still have some more to do. I've got four of those half cup bowls filled up. You know, when we're topping our burgers and hot dogs, we don't use a lot of chili. So I'm gonna have a lot of chili in the freezer, which is wonderful. And again, I use the rock crock to cook the chili. And if you have a rock crock, we have that slow cooker stand you can get separate. And it has a keep warm feature, which I love. I was able to put my chili on and then just go away, do whatever I wanted to with no fear. I knew it was gonna automatically cut off and automatically go to keep warm. So I love that feature and I love these silicone freezer bowls. So I don't know if they're gonna still be in the outlet or not or how long they will be there, but I love these and I'm gonna finish getting the rest of my chili and put in those. And I will share the recipe for the chili that I did. This is more like a sloppy joe chili than my typical hot dog chili. And then I'll share the steps too on how I did my sloppy dogs. But you're on your own finding those red hot dogs if you're not from North Carolina. That's a Southern thing, but you can use your favorite hot dogs. They will be delicious. So thank you guys so much for watching and y'all have a great night. Bye-bye. I'm gonna make my sloppy joe chili. I'm just gonna pop one pound of hamburger in the rock crock, let it get a good sear on it, about three minutes, and then flip it over. And once the second side sears good, I go ahead and use the mix and chop spatula and just break that meat up. Continue to stir and chop it up. I want small pieces. I'm going to be adding garlic, three onion rub, smoky barbecue, apple cider vinegar, ketchup, and a little bit of chili powder also. I'm going to move it over to our slow cooker stand. I love this new slow cooker stand. I've got it set for one hour. It'll cut off and keep warm all by itself, and it smells amazing.